Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Development that I Number desire. one, I would make my own money and I would not balance it or I would not back it by the American dollar or any other currency. In fact, I then get... it wouldn't be money. What is money? Weighed against what? Because money... What, what American money is made against what? Gold. Which gold? My God, you said so you have internet. Check, they don't have any. It is just paper. It's made up by tanks and F-15 fighters. They have no gold. It is the Federal Reserve has no reserve and is not federal. It's a private institution. Hey, you disappoint so, so, me today. No, no, yes, you actually you disappoint, disappoint me. me. I, I know, the I know. Federal Reserve. This is where we differ as yes. students no. of uh, economics. Oh, wait, wait, you wait. And I. Okay, now let's talk now, economics. Now, the student of history and the student no, of economics I am, a I, am, I am not only a student of economics. I am a teacher of economics. And I'm going to teach you economics on your show. And I'm, you know, the, I, 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 I'm a teacher. I can't afford to be ridiculous. I am coming on your show to tell you that the Federal Reserve, first of all, is not federal. It's not a government agency. It is a private institution owned by 12 individuals. And it has no reserve. The dollar has no reserve. It is just paper with graphics on it. And how dare our country, you know, backs its money against the dollar against a piece of paper which somebody prints when the secretary to the treasury in america wants money wants to buy uh for example uganda airlines let's assume he is not going to say uh what he orders the mint he asks them how long will it take you to print this <laughs> yes i know truth makes you laugh why do you think they're having trouble with uh, with uh, with russia because russia is buying gold and it is moving away from the dollar. And China is the same. China is moving gold. Look at the countries that have now the largest collection of gold. You'll find Russia among China them. And... Russia and China. Mm. They want a currency that is backed by gold. And Uganda has gold. What they would do is they would make our currency gold. Which means one gram of one shilling, if it was gold, would be now equivalent you know, to about 120 uh, of, of, of today's money, Uganda shillings, which would be about $50. Our shilling would be about $50. If would, it were gold. If it were gold. And we have gold. So instead of letting this gold hemorrhage out of the country, we would get this money and turn it into gold. The gold standard. That's the gold standard. You've got it. Do you know how it started? You know, people would come, they deposit gold here. Because gold is heavy, it's very heavy, you would give them a piece of paper. Now, when they get to Masaka, instead of coming back when they want to purchase something, they would pass the paper to someone else. That is why when you look at the pound, they say promise to pay on a demand. A demand note. So, now, most... Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump. <laughs>